Two laps to go. Remember, seven of the last 11 Talladega races decided by a last lap pass. Boyer and Harvick coming again on the high side. Yeah, Boyer got, they got real tight on the, the side of the 16 car, but it's paying off. Drag race down the back right there. But they can't clear the Fords and protect the bottom because Edwards comes storming back on the inside. Well, what else it does is opens the door for these two cats right here who have timed it out pretty darn good coming to the white flag. And there comes their teammates as well. Johnson and Earnhardt Jr. White flag this time. Those have been the two best cars right there. Most of this race. They're the, just now showing it. The bell lap and the man who started up front leads it. Jeff Gordon. But here comes the next two pair that these two cats right here. They may have timed it out, too. Let's see what happens down the back. Now they will get a draft off Mark Martin. And here's the slingshot to the outside. Stay together. That's what they're saying. Stay together. Push, push, push. Oh, we get tight down here in turn three. Don't forget Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. Fifth and sixth. They are there. Which group will they go with? And will it help the Childress cars? Or will it help Jeff Gordon to victory lane? All bets are off. They get to the middle of the travel. Watch out down low. Way Good down run. comes Johnson. Good run. Boy. He's got room. They're three wide. Three by three to the line. Johnson. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. I believe he got him by an inch. Two one thousandths of a second he beat Boy. Okay, a sixteenth of an inch. Have you ever? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. No, we have <laughs> never, never, never seen buddy. anything like that. No. <laughs> what a finish. That's how you do teammates, man. Go up and congratulate them. Both y'all won that race. Both y'all. An unbelievable finish where Jimmy Johnson had just enough room between the two cars on the inside and the double yellow line because crossing that would have cost him the race. He had the room, he made it work. It, it just, it, it's amazing how things will work out sometime for you and sometime that time it worked to perfection. Watch this. Jeff Gordon watching Boyer, seeing if he can beat Boyer. Left just enough room on the inside for Johnson and Earnhardt right there in the trioval. It's Boyer's race. Yeah, it looks like Boyer's pulling ahead, but then all of a sudden they hit that air, that wall of air. Here comes the 48. But Darrell, the start finish line here is a thousand feet further. And look how close it is. Four wide at the wire. That is just a beautiful thing right there. Two, four, six, eight cars. So close, we can hardly capture it with our stop motion camera. There's a look at it, and there is the margin. Daryl, this so reminds me of 1981, when you're looking over at Terry Labonte to make sure you beat him. Today, Jimmy Johnson was the Ron Bouchard of 1981 who swept to the inside and won it. Mark Martin saw the 48 coming, but he couldn't do anything about it. Jimmy Johnson and Dale Earnhardt Jr. never left each other all day. And look at the Exmo, the Fox Exmo look of the finish as Jimmy looks for the checkered flag at the start finish line. Any of those eight cars could have won it. Jimmy Johnson did.